with gel press team and today I'm going to show you a semi easy tutorial of a Bible journaling page I did with the Faith Impressions gel press kit. Now the first thing I'm doing here is I'm taping over the verse so I make sure it doesn't get covered and then I'm shaking up some black acrylic paint and just squirt it all over the page. I'm not painting the entire page. There is a slight white border around the edge but I wanted the rest of it to be full and black, but with the edges a little bit frayed. Give it, you know, sort of a little spooky feeling right there. So the next step, I squirt a tiny bit of white acrylic paint onto my glass mat and dilute it with water. And using my gel press four inch sprayer, I'm just getting a thin layer of paint onto the brayer and then I can put it onto my Bible and it gives it this milky spooky sort of x-ray type look and I love the stripes that the brayer gives it's kind of like a like an old-timey reading Next, I'm using my the gel press heart from the Faith Impressions kit and I'm putting on a layer of red stencil paint and putting it onto a scrap piece of paper. I could have done this in my Bible, but I knew that the heart wouldn't show up as red as I wanted it to, so it's just easier to print onto a piece of paper and then put it back on my Bible. And this is mounted on a clear acrylic box, which is much easier to gel press with. Once I've heat set the hearts, I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the white streaks, but this time with black, just to give the hearts a little bit of grunge. They were a little too red for me. And then once I finish doing this, and I've heat set it. I'm going to add some little bit of splashes back on it because the brayer didn't get as much as I wanted it to on there. And then I'm going to cut the hearts out so I can have them ready to mount. Once the hearts have been cut, I take the edge of my black dye ink ink pad and ink the edges of it. It'll help blend into the background a little bit better and add some more grunge. Next, I'm putting on my printable from Beautiful Good News. She owns an Etsy shop. This is from her Dry Bones printable set. And I'm putting it right under the verse that was taped. So I make sure I don't cover that up. Now this is a piece of transparency film. If you don't have any, you can use a sheet protector or acetate or any kind of clear packaging as long as it's clear. Because these stickers that I have are x-ray vellum stickers. I think they're Recollections, which is a Michaels brand. Um, and I just mounted them on there because you'll see what we need to do with them once they're mounted. And if you don't have these, you can easily make your own. You could print some x-ray images that you find online on some vellum or even transparency paper will work. And then I'm placing them to see where I want them to go to make sure they all fit because it is kind of tight. And then I use a pencil to draw around just one edge of the border so I know where to stick them when I do tape them down. And then once I've done that, I'm going to take my heart 
that we painted and dried and I'm going to put them right in the middle of these blocks that I've drawn. And because they're kind of faded into the background, I used a white gel pen to go around the edges of them. And I'm using some clear packing tape. I'm just cutting small strips because the scotch tape that I had was the frosted tape and I didn't want that. I'm putting it on one edge of the stickers to make like a hinge so when I tape them down it'll be like a little flap so I can see the hearts underneath. Now you don't see the hearts as much right here but you can in the close-up photos. And then I can take my tape off so I can see my verse. Now I'm adding some x-ray letters that were die cut from some scrap paper. This verse, by the way, is Jeremiah 17, 23, talking about the deceitful heart. It's a wonderful verse. In here, I'm using frayed burlap and distress oxide to grunge it up just a little bit. I don't like things that are too white when they don't need to be. <laughs> And I was trying to lift some of the color off because it got a little, little muddy. When Distress mixes with printer ink, it kind of blends a little bit. I then decided I needed to finish the rest of my um, title up here, so I grabbed some alphabet block stamps that I had and I stamped the word need in a blocky chunky looking way and I cut that out and glued it right beside. I did have to lift the X up so it would fit but that's okay. You can't tell it too much. Then I needed to add some small letters. I wanted some gold in there to offset some of the some of the brown that was put down on the lungs because it needed a little bit more color. And I had to figure out where to put the rest of my title. So it can say I'm in need of an x-ray. And it's not just your not just your heart, but your your lungs, your mind, your your hands. You need a x-ray. To remind yourself what you're really up to. Alright, here I'm cleaning off the excess paint that was on the uh, gel press heart plate. And I'm adding a layer of mixed media crayon from Marabou on top. And wetting it with some water. Sort of like a watercolor. I knew this wasn't going to show up, but I needed the shape of it down there. So I blotted it and dried it. And then I'm going to add another layer with just dry crayon on top so you can really see it pop. And these blend so beautifully, just like butter, once you get them going. Well, that didn't look much like a heart, so I had to outline it with a black one. That's better. And I know it's hard to see in this printable, but there are leaves that are in this set. And I wanted to make them come out a little bit more because it did need a little bit more color. 
So I added some kiwi and marabou mixed crayon on top. And then I grabbed my colored pencils and I gave a little bit more outline for them. I need some more definition. And of course, my signature <laughs> is I need splatters. I need splatters everywhere. So I added some black splatters on top of it to kind of blend it in. It stuck out a little bit too much. And I outlined the heart some more. Plus I outlined the, the lines that were in the heart to make it look more of like an x-ray that was x-raying the heart. More splatters. I love splatters. And then it needed some gold. Gold splatters are always a good idea. <laughs> Doesn't matter what project you're working on. And you can see here, once I flip these over, you can see how it all lines up. It looks so cute. And that's about it, friends. I hope you'd enjoy this. Please like us on Facebook. Like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with what we're doing. And don't forget about our Gel Press Faith Impressions Facebook page.